This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. Now let's combine the counter variable with a math block. Ooh, okay. <laughs> this gets fun. How can we use the counter variable to navigate this garden with the fewest number of blocks possible? And keep in mind, they're only giving us 14 blocks. So this is getting into some real world programming situations, <laughs> game building, the good stuff. All right. Let's see what we're doing. We need to get around here and it looks three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. So first thing I know is that those numbers. Interesting. We are going up in a pattern three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. However, like I saw in a previous level, these don't increase as fast or at the same rate. So this goes from three to six, but that's only one step. This goes from six to nine, so it goes up by three, but this is only two steps. This goes from nine to twelve, but this is three steps. So that seems like a problem because the steps and the nectar are different amounts. We know we need to get through this puzzle. So let's first work on that. I'm just going to drop and move forward, which I'll hit a wall, I think. Yep. So whoops. First, I need to turn left. Hmm. Interesting. They started us off with a turn. Hmm. All right. Once I turn left, I can move forward. And then I'm going to want to what? Ooh, turn left. So I'm already noticing here, maybe a loop's going to be coming into play sooner than I thought. Once I do that, I'll move forward and move forward. And then I'm going to turn left. Let me just double check here. Then I turn left. Yep. Okay. Now what? Well, forward, forward, forward. And then our favorite new block, turn left. <laughs> and then what? Well, now it's going to be forward four times. So I'm getting a picture here. Let's see. Boom, boom. And it, this would have been forward four times. So what's happening? Well, each time I move forward, hmm. And then what's different? What's a different amount? Well, how many, I mean, each time I turn left, but what's changes how many times I move forward? Okay. But I know I'm going to repeatedly turn left and then I repeatedly go forward a different amount. All right. Well, let's go to our loop. And I'm going to start with uh, one to four, all right? And I'm only going to count up by one. So, hey, what I have here is four counter. My counter is going to be equal to one. It will go up to four. And each time it does go up, only go up by one. What do I know needs to only happen once each time? Turn left. What's going to be changing? How many times we move forward? So we're going to have to repeat our forward amount. Well, when we turn left the first time, how many times are we going to be going forward? One. Okay. When we turn left the second time, right? So this is two left, right? We went left here, here, and then again, the second time, how many times do we go forward? Two. When we go left the second time, how many times do we move forward? Two. Hmm. And then now if we go left again that third time, how many times do we go forward? One, two, three. Interesting. So however, whatever time we have gone left, one, two, three times, we're moving that many steps forward. Well, that sounds perfect for a repeat block. And just going through code like this, writing it out, even in uh, with a pen and uh, paper, which honestly I do for myself, helps you process it. All right. And what do I want here? Well, however many times the counter's at, right? Because when the counter's at one, we went left once, boom. Counter goes up by one. Now it's at two. Well, look what happens on the second time we go left. We go up by two. We go forward by two. Let's just test this out for starters. And I got to get rid of this extra code. Let's see if we can get to the end. This is looking good. And notice it go. Always use the step thing when you're stuck. Oh, so there's five parts of this. Okay, but that looks great. So I guess there should have been a five. Now let's start thinking about nectar because we didn't at all. After the first loop, let's step through here. I'm going to go left and I go forward. How much nectar do I need? Three. Okay. So that means if I grab a loop and then here, we're going to keep going actually. So that's counters at one. I step forward. How much nectar do I need? Three. Okay, so when counter's at one, I need three nectar. All right, I am going to step again. Zoop, counter goes up by one. Counter's now at two. I move forward. How much nectar am I, 
Oh, wait, counters at two, so I'm going to move forward again. Okay, and now I'm about to be done with this, but how much nectar do I need after I move forward two? Six. Huh. Boom, counters now at three. I'm going to move forward once. Hits the bottom, goes back around twice. Three times. How much nectar do I need? Nine. Well, that's interesting, because if you take these, it's always three times what our counter is. Now let's combine counter with a math block. Okay, let's go grab our repeat. Math. Oh, wait a minute. They only gave us a multiplication, or they started us with one. Hint. So, let's grab my multiplication block here. What do we want to multiply? Well, you can write out counter. I'm just going to be lazy and go grab it. Counter times what? Three. And what do we want to do? Well, we want to be collecting nectar. Let's give this a shot. This stuff is getting so complicated. If you're understanding this, awesome. If you're stuck, that makes so much sense. It is confusing. So don't get discouraged. Go back through this. Go back through other parts of this lesson. This is complicated, difficult material. I've gotten some of these wrong the first try. So yeah, you're doing awesome. Let's keep going.